we've unlocked not only a, a new way to do computing and and but also a way to continue to improve. Parallel processing has a, a different kind of physics to it than the improvements that we were able to make on CPUs. I'm curious, what are the scientific or technological limitations that we face now in the current world that you're thinking a lot about? Well, everything in the end is about how much work you can get done within the limitations of the energy that you have. And so that that's a that's a physical limit and uh, the laws of physics uh, about transporting sick information and um, transporting bits, flipping bits and transporting bits. Um, at the end of the day, the energy it takes to do that um, limits what we can get done and the amount of energy that we have limits what we can get done. We're far from having any fundamental limits that keep us from advancing. In the meantime, we seek to build better and more energy efficient computers. This this little computer, uh, the the big version of it was uh, two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, that's little baby baby digits. Yeah, this is an AI supercomputer. The version that I delivered, this is just a prototype, so it's a mockup. And so the 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 very first version was DJX1. I delivered to OpenAI in 2016, and that was $250,000, 10,000 times more power, more energy necessary uh, than this version. And this version has six times more performance. I know, it's incredible. We're in a whole new world. It's, it, and it's only since 2016. And so eight years later, we've in, increased the energy efficiency of computing by 10,000 times. And imagine if we became 10,000 times more energy efficient, or if a car was 10,000 times more energy efficient, or electric light bulb was 10,000 times more energy efficient. Our light bulb would be right now, instead of 100 watts, 10,000 times less producing the same illumination. Yeah, and so, and so the, the energy efficiency of computing, particularly for AI computing that we've been working on, has advanced incredibly, and that's that's essential because we want to create you know more intelligent systems, and and we want to use uh, more computation to be smarter 